don't. I I don't either. End of the video. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, fine, it's not the end of the video, but still... Uh, YouTube Rewinds. I remember having fond memories of some YouTube Rewinds, like the earlier ones, when they highlighted the creators and made it about, you know, the creators. Like the first couple of them. Yeah, like the first three or four, I think. And then something happened. It was almost as if the people at YouTube were just like, oh yeah, we need to really emphasize late night television. We need to really emphasize uh, all the trends out there. We need to check all the boxes of the different stuff that's that's popular. Instead of, I don't know, celebrating literally everything when it comes to like what's on YouTube. Because that's the thing. It's not just late night television. It's not just uh, all the trends that everybody needs to keep chasing. No, it's literally all this stuff and I miss when they used to highlight that and it used to be about the creators the best rewind is still whatever that was it PewDiePie that put it together like uh, you know, Mr. Beast did one so yeah. I remember like one of them did one and they actually added in like Jaden and people who deserved to be in it that year you know hold on I made a YouTube rewind I think it was Mr. Beast who did it. <laughs> Thank God it's out. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that was it. It was PewDiePie. YouTube Rewind 2018. Oh, it but it's actually, actually good. good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. So I fixed YouTube Rewind. This is a trend for a while. YouTube Rewind 2014. That one was fun. 13 was fun. It was around 2016 when it started to really start falling off and then it all culminated with the terribleness that was YouTube Rewind 2018 oh I that that was a dark time I remember it starting out that yeah is yeah, rewind not. time <laughs> which is a funny meme nowadays but nowadays I still use that as a meme <laughs> well me I instead I substituted that with yeah, he's fucking my wife. I'm sorry. It's a lot of times when somebody's like, I drew this hot lady from this game or something like that. I'm just like, that's hot. <laughs> you know? Like, ah, that's hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, you know, him being like, I want Mark Ass Brownlee, not Marquez, Mark <laughs> Ass Brownlee. <laughs> yeah. That. <sighs> but. Apparently, uh, well, here's the thing about YouTube Rewinds. I miss it when it was about the creators and it wasn't about just, like, pleasing corporate entities. And apparently James misses YouTube Rewinds. Uh, Mr. Odd One's out. So let's uh, check out and see what James has to say about missing YouTube Rewinds. Here we go. Guys, I have a brilliant idea. What if we do... The In My Feelings Challenge. What do you think? What's the In My Feelings Challenge? <sighs> it was that dance. Is that supposed to be... Is that supposed to be Swoozy? Because if I remember right in that one, it was... is uh, I think it was Swoozy that was sitting next to him. Can't remember. I can't remember. It's been so long since I watched that god-awful train wreck of a video. Once people did outside of their moving cars in 2018. Oh, yeah. That's stupid. <laughs> I know. It's weird to me that YouTube Rewind 2018 came out over five years ago, which makes it old oh. enough to be something to reminisce oh. about. There's a fresh like generation it. of iPad kids who don't get to experience the yearly tradition of coming together as a community and watching the newest YouTube Rewind and absolutely hating it. <laughs> In case you all yeah. forgot, the website youtube.com used to make these celebratory videos showcasing all the important yep. events and memes that had happened throughout the year. And all these YouTubers would get together and- Oh my God, dude. <laughs> so, oh. Yeah, Jaden, Mark, Red and Link. Uh, can we not with Fred? Uh, Ryan Higa, 
I'm not going to say the name of his channel because I know if I do and it's taken out of context, next thing you know, I'm going to get cancelled. Smosh. Uh, <laughs> freaking Phil DeFranco. And I forget old her Phil. name. Oh, yeah. Old Philly. Yeah. And I forget and by who By that, I mean is. young Philly because, like, honestly. Huh. It's a picture from an old time. Yeah. Like old, like old time Philly. It's like young Markiplier up there. And young yeah, Mark, I know. With the freaking Bohawk. <laughs> I going to say, I'm doing my best David Beckham impression. Like Rhett looks, what do you think? Rhett looks so young in that picture. I know, that. dude. <laughs> and like him and Link, Looks like he just got out of high school. Him and Link picture. both look like, okay, Link looks like, Link looks like he's like the manager a manager at a fucking bit, like, Starbucks. Yeah, either that or he just got arrested and that's his mugshot. <laughs> I can see that. But, but Rhett... With this freaking chin, with the freaking chin beard. And Red's just like, hey, dude, we're about to go to the rock concert, but first we're going to swing by my bud's house and pick up a gram. You want to come with? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, totally I just got the new Limp Biscuit album. We're going to play it in the car on the way. Limp Biscuit. Jesus Christ, dude. You're hitting all the tick boxes yep. now. Stop it. And You're his making jeans, me old. His jeans are like covered in chains. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I can see that, and he's and where he's already freakishly tall. He's already more. He'll be even more intimidating with all them chains. He's got more chains on than a Final Fantasy character has belts. Basically, <laughs> ain't that the truth, Jesus? And do a silly little dance, and Fuck everyone had a Get great little time. And since these videos were produced by the very platform you're currently watching this on, rewinds would always receive a lot of attention. Now, according to my memory, YouTube rewinds were pretty well received at first. Yeah. But you see, as time went on, the general public and the YouTubers involved started to grow weary. People were throwing around words like cringe and this isn't what YouTube represents and ah, that's that. Shut up. Ah, that's that. <laughs> and it all accumulated to YouTube's magnum opus, YouTube Rewind 2018. Everyone controls rewind. Still the most disliked video in hi in the history of YouTube. Hashtag YouTube Rewind, which is a video that was so universally hated that it holds the world record yeah. for most disliked video ever. A record it will now hold perpetually because of the whole dislike thing. The audience. Oh, James, what are you talking about? It's still here. <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? It's still here. You just gotta know where to look. Wasn't happy, the YouTubers involved weren't happy, until finally YouTube snapped and was like, all right, fine, if no one wants it, we'll stop doing it. We were just doing this as a favor anyways. And so YouTube you discontinued that, but I don't the Rewind you. project indefinitely, with 2018 being the last time we ever got a Rewind. Technically 19, but it was a top 10, so I don't really count it. I mean, I know he showed it in, like, the little montage thing there, but, eh. But, but what about me, James? Oh, shit. How dare you even consider yourself worthy of being called a Rewind 2019? A top 10 video? Really? At least 2011 had Rebecca Black hosting. Wow. Wow, Rebecca Black. Holy shit, I haven't heard that name in forever. Oh, my brain is just, like, filling up with all the stuff that I forgot about. Dean, before I tell you the top ten ways on how I'm gonna hurt you. So, getting back to the actual last YouTube Rewind, you know, the one with the most dislikes in the whole world. If we skip to three minutes and two seconds into that video, we see... Guys, let's do the In My Feelings yeah. Challenge. Oh, jeez. That's me. I know I'm a little late to the party, but since we've all had enough time to grow and reflect as people, I would like to finally share some of my thoughts and experiences working on YouTube Rewind 2018. Hmm. The first thing I want to talk about is how none of the YouTubers involved got any type of monetary compensation. At least none of the ones I talked to did. This was a big issue. Hold on, wait, wait. You noticing all the memes that are in here in the... They're like in the meme library, meme mm -hmm. hall of fame. Surprise Pikachu, the lump. moth, huh? The lamp. Lamp. It is lamp. And then of course somebody touched a must forget. I missed that one. Uh, what this one? Yeah. 
And then that e. one's missing from my memory bank, so definitely no E. Yeah, but somebody touched my spaghetti. That's that one's actually pretty good. Of monetary compensation, at least none of the ones I talked to did. This was a big issue that a lot of other YouTubers had in their expose videos, but I personally was not bothered by it. Was I getting paid in exposure? Yes. Mm. In fact, I actually lost money doing this because I had to get my friend Rush to animate some of the scenes, so oh. I, you know, paid him for his work. But what I'm trying to tell you is <laughs> that as much as I'm about to complain about YouTube Rewind, don't feel any sort of empathy for me, okay? I, I did this to myself. I think the best piece of advice I could give you is that if YouTube ever reaches out to you and is like, hey, do you want to be a part of Rewind? You should say, Mm, let me read the script first. But I didn't know that in 2018. And I also didn't know that in 2017. If you look at YouTube Rewind 2017 and watch all the way to the end, keep going right there. Right there in the credits is me and Jaden doing a floss in space. It was a lot cooler back then. They also mm -hmm. wanted all the animators to animate our characters in the middle of a jello fight. And I think they wanted to put our cartoon characters over footage of real life YouTubers in the middle of a jello fight, but they gave us no direction. And I don't think they ever filmed a scene where they were like, okay, real life YouTubers, remember to leave that spot empty because that's where the animated guy's gonna go. Cause you know, they gotta plan that kind of stuff out ahead of time, right? So instead yeah. they just threw our unusable animated jello fight with no background at the very end as this extremely out of place post credit scene. So 2017 mm. was pretty uneventful for me. Like, yeah, I was in YouTube Rewind, but you know, I was in the credits. Who's gonna stick around and watch the credits, you know? But 2018 was gonna be my year. Rewind wanted me back and this- Wait a minute, James. But 2018 was gonna be my year. Rewind. You really turned down an invite to Smash, bro? <laughs> bro, no. I'd love to, to see back, you in Smash Bros. And this time they were giving me a speaking role. Holy shit. My line was going to be, guys, let's do the In My Feelings Challenge. And then the YouTuber Swoozy, who would be yeah, in his real life Swoos. human form, would say, right? And then we'd fist bump Who Framed Roger Rabbit style. So do you remember that trend in 2018 where people were doing that dance outside of their moving car? Well, apparently that was called the In My Feelings Challenge. Back in 2018, I didn't even know it was called that. I thought it was called stupid. Yeah. Now, if you really had watched YouTube Rewind 2018, like everyone- like the T-bowing thing. Remember that? T-bowing in the middle of traffic. T-bowing like in the middle of people walking in a freaking mall. Ugh controls rewind hashtag YouTube rewind you might be wondering why after I specifically suggest we do the in my feelings challenge that not a single youtuber or talk show host can be seen dancing outside of a moving vehicle that's because YouTube didn't want to promote unsafe behavior so they didn't want to show anyone dancing outside of a car so they weren't really doing the challenge then were they YouTube, if you don't want to promote unsafe behavior, don't promote the In My F***ing Feelings Challenge. Kids are still gonna look up the In My Feelings Challenge and then watch multiple videos of people dancing outside of cars yeah. on YouTube. We don't want to promote unsafe behavior. It's on your platform, dog. You know, looking back, <laughs> that should have been- Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of a stupid, uh, like, hypocrisy. Yep. Because, honestly, if it's on your platform, but yet it's unsafe. Why is it still on your platform? Been my first red flag, but I was still optimistic. I was so excited to be a part of this huge project and I knew there were going to be a bunch of YouTubers involved, but I was going to be one of the few animated ones. I was going to stand out. I was going to be the odd one out. <laughs> Knowing how Rewind handled animation in 2017, when they asked me to be a part of 2018, I told them, hey, love the line, but I think it would be a good idea if we met in person, you know, and that way you can show me everything you're planning, and I can ask you all the right questions. And they agreed and invited me to visit the set the day they were filming Swoozie's line. So I was there, physically behind the camera, when Swoozie said, right, and then fist bumped nothing. I got to experience what it was like to be on... 
Uzi said. Oh gosh, hold on. Me agreeing with my imaginary friend. Right? And then fist bumped nothing. Yep. Yeah, basically. I got to experience what it was like to be on a real film set with actors and directors and costumes and catering and makeup and it was a lot, honestly, for just one line. Yeah. And maybe it was because they had booked Swoozy for a full hour, but they had this beautiful man say, right? And then fist bump nothing no less than 50 times. It's one line, guys. I think we got it. And then after like take 87, my stomach sank when the director said, Okay, Swoozy, how about you try saying, guys, let's do the In My Feelings challenge. Wait a minute. What? That's my line. Are we changing it? Which line am I animating now? Do you want me to do both? Just like how you got Swoozy to do both? And what? Oh, you'll pick your favorites? I asked the director right there which line was I animating, and he said he was going to let me know. And then we went outside and filmed Swoozy dance in front of a brick wall and which parts of him dancing was I going to animate my guy next to? He said he was going to let me know that too. So I took uh -huh. all the information I learned that day and referred it back to the other animators. What they wanted were two shots. They wanted five seconds of our characters dancing, and they wanted another shot of all of us sitting around a campfire singing horribly. After doing some quick math, I realized that if all seven of us animators did a five second dance, that would be 35 seconds of cartoons dancing, which for a YouTube rewind would be a lot of screen time. I had a sinking feeling that they weren't going to be using our full five second clips and they didn't even let me know. Now for my life changing speaking role, I had to record my line on my own, which normally wouldn't be a problem. But in late 2018, I had just moved to California, and I didn't Ooh. have my own setup. Leave California, James. Get out while you still can. <laughs> Set up. And to make the whole situation worse, I was only given one week to finish my animation and record my line. Oh, damn. So, you know, the clock was ticking. Now, I think the second best piece of advice I could give you is that if you're ever in need of a quick jerry-rigged sound booth, go into your closet and hide under a comforter. In fact, hello, real life human James here, coming to you on a blue Yeti inside of a bathroom. The acoustics in here are terrible. Could you imagine voicing a cartoon character in this? Guys, let's do the In My Feelings Challenge. See, it doesn't work. Now, all right, and now we're here inside of our makeshift sound booth, and you can <laughs> hopefully hear the quality change right away. You know, like, guys, let's do the In My Feelings challenge. Yeah, mm. uh, honestly, where there's a will, there's a way, and just little amateur stuff like that. I, I love it to death. See, you know, we, we don't need expensive sound booths to have a good time, although, we do have one. We, we do, it's not expensive, but... Yeah, I mean, it's in a closet still, pretty much under the stairs, but it's, like, soundproofed up and stuff. Oh, yeah. And the sound quality's great in there. I can't complain. I cannot complain at all. But back in 2018, I wanted the most important line in my career to be recorded in a professional sound booth. Oh. Luckily, I was in luck. You see, California is one of the few places home to something called a YouTube space. A YouTube space advertises itself as a place to aid content creators, providing them with facilities to create content for their YouTube channels. Sounds and good on paper. And to said facilities, you needed at least 10,000 subscribers. A little weird they put a number on it, but I get it. I had just moved to California. I knew I was going to be hitting this place up all the time. When I first went to the YouTube space, I didn't call ahead or set up an appointment or anything because there wasn't an option to do so on the website, <clears throat> but I figured they would have to help me out, right? The the line I needed to record was for a YouTube Rewind, and you're a YouTube space. Like, Susan personally asked me to be here, you know? So I drove an hour to the space, I went inside, showed them my sub count, and they said that in order <laughs> to use the facilities, work. I had to fill out all these forms on my computer back home, but it's for a YouTube Rewind. Then I drove another hour back home and started filling out the forms, but by the time I got to the quizzes, I realized, huh, I think this wild goose chase is probably going to take longer than a week to resolve. With time running out, I gingerly asked my new friend Aaron if I could use his setup, <laughs> and he said yes, and I didn't even have to Mr. show him my Eagle subcount. Raptor. I mean, I showed him anyway, though. 
So the line <laughs> you hear me say in the 2018 Rewind was recorded in the Game Grumps office. Nice. Yeah. Also, <laughs> he's like, I showed him my sub count. I didn't have to, but I showed him anyway. Um, James... I think you're good in terms of, like, versus the Game Grumps, because let's see here. Game Grumps. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> yeah, you basically quadruple him. Uh, but I know that he, I know that Aaron has his Ego Raptor channel, but he doesn't really post on there anymore. Sad, I know. Which I think means, at the very least... Game Grumps deserves to be credited in the description of Rewind. Come on, YouTube. They were the only ones who took me in when your own company turned me away. The deadline was fast approaching. I mean, it was fast approaching as soon as I got it. But I've been in crunch mode before, and I'm sure the nameless video editors were just trying to hit their impossibly tight deadlines, too. I reminded myself what I was making all of these sacrifices for. Everyone was going to unanimously love this video <laughs> and what it represents and look at my channel Poor afterwards. And... <sighs> Man, you hate to see it. You, you hate it whenever this kind of stuff just... Ugh. Subscribe. So unfortunate. December 6th, 2018. A day that changed history. It was raining that day. And the world was exposed to what YouTube had been cooking up. And they all collectively hated it. Like, a lot. Yeah. Like, to the point where I would be lucky if I didn't lose subscribers. I think the audience knew that none of the YouTubers involved had any say in the creative process. We were just reading our lines from YouTube script, you know? So at least I get to say I'm in the most disliked video in history, and no one's too mad at me. Right? So, was <laughs> all of this stress worth it? No. No. I got paid in exposure, and the exposure was overwhelmingly negative. In fact, I think Rewind was only positive for one other YouTuber. Can you take a guess who? I mean, I think I know the answer. Ninja? No. Well, he's more of a Twitch streamer, isn't he? he at this point, yeah. Mark Ass Brownlee? <laughs> no. So I feel like a lot of people would have looked it up to be like, is that how he actually says his name? But no, that's not how he says his name. Well, I'll give him a slip on here, though. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know. I think I know who it's going to be. It's going to be Jaden. Because Jaden pulled off, like, the heist of the century in this YouTube Rewind. It was one of the only positive things people were talking about. She had the little animated thing in the back. It was a submarine, the number two, and then had PewDiePie's fist. Yeah. Sub to PewDiePie. Because mm -hmm. it was during the race where PewDiePie was trying to get to 100 million subs before T-Series. Yeah. And uh, Jaden... And plus, since... This was also the point where YouTube basically screwed Felix out of being in the Rewind yep. because of controversies at the time. But yeah. Do you have any guesses? Jaden. Jaden? Yes! Motherfucking animations <laughs> pulled off the biggest prank of 2018. Yeah. <laughs> one of the reasons people disliked 2018's Rewind was because PewDiePie, the number one YouTuber at the time, wasn't included. But Jaden, being the genius that she is, knew he wasn't going to be included <laughs> again, so she snuck in a PewDiePie reference into her five-second dance. Yeah, I forgot and... about, like, the chair and everything. Well, not just the chair. But also back here, sub to PewDiePie. Mm -hmm. The chair is like the more obvious, but you look back here and it's just like, uh huh. And no one caught it, and it made the final cut. Jaden was crowned the least cringy part of Rewind. <laughs> well done. Everyone loved her, and she got a big boost in subscribers. And all I got to say to that is, well done. Good Jayden. job, Jaden. Yeah. Yeah. How are you enjoying that cake and eating it too? <laughs> now, there are a lot of valid reasons why people dislike 2018's Rewind. One of them being that the video starts out with Will Smith? He's not a YouTuber. But they didn't seem to mind when 2016 started out with The Rock and 2017 started with The Colbert Show, but whatever. And I don't know if you remember what YouTube was. Oh, you had to bring that up. You see what he's wearing, right? Mm-hmm. 
Mm. <laughs> Not the best start to that year. Not the best at all. Was like in 2018, but uh, it was in the news a couple of times. You know, you know, over a few small things. However, with all of that being said, I do genuinely miss YouTube Rewinds. Getting to wake up and go, wow, it's December and a new YouTube Rewind just dropped. I'm going to watch it. And then I get to see a handful of YouTubers I recognize oh through a gosh. dance and not recognize any of the other YouTubers. And then I get to see the rest of the internet's reaction to it. It's better than Christmas for me. Even if it's the cringiest video ever, we still all watched it together as a community. <laughs> it's, like, it's like we all suffer together. It's like we'll get through it. It's okay. And I think that's what I miss the most, when YouTube felt more like a community. As long as it's not a top 10 video, I welcome back YouTube Rewinds with open arms. And if they do make a comeback, I don't think I'd want to be a part of them. Not because I got burned in 2018, but because I wouldn't want to rob another ignorant YouTuber of the once in a lifetime opportunity <laughs> to be taken advantage of and work for free and be a part of history. For now, we just have to live with the nine rewinds we do have. But if you're like me and are just dying to see more YouTube rewind content, and I know you are because you're still here, mm -hmm. I've discovered a pretty massive Easter egg. In the description of Rewind 2018 is a link to see all the Easter eggs. And for your viewing pleasure are 13 brand new shorts that I can only describe as skits that were edited together with existing Rewind footage. I don't think that's what an Easter egg is. They're not that funny and are pretty hard to watch, but isn't that what Rewind's all about? Have a good night. <laughs> Kiki, do you, do you love, love me? Are, are you riding? riding? Don't you oh ever, ever say because I want you. Me. And I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's Rush. Rush light. Basically what you're saying is, James, is that you miss the days of the uh, community coming together to collectively hate something. I think we still have that. Yeah, we still have it. It's just, you know, it's not usually officially something that YouTube did. True, true. I think it was better when everybody could be like, why do we even use this platform? They're fucking awful. <laughs> God. <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> I do know what you mean. Like, but now it's just like, why do we let this person use this platform? They're fucking awful. <laughs> like, true. Usually, true. you know. Ugh, I don't know. But this, this, yeah, you know, YouTube rewinds, they can be very fun if they're done right once again first few years of rewind if you go back and you watch those it genuinely feels like they're paying they're putting the attention on the creators themselves instead 20 like 17 2016 2017 and on feels like they're just chasing a trend that they aren't doing it for the the creators anymore and that's my problem and unfortunately, I think one of the few people that has the budget to actually continue rewind in their own way and make it good again is probably without the time to actually continue it and make it good again. Mr. Beast? Yeah. I think Mr. Beast could do it. Honestly, I think it'd be... I, here's what I would do instead is I would put it out there be like, Hey, I'm doing a YouTube rewind. I am going to be doing segments on animators, and I'm going to be doing a segment on, like, reactors. I'm going to be doing a segment for, uh, for like, gaming, you know, for, like, uh, gaming spheres. I'm going to be doing one for, like, ASMR, stuff like that. And I would basically have, uh, basically have, like, the highlights of each of them over the span of, like, a 10-minute video. And try and do everything I could to, uh, you know, music YouTubers as well. You know, just, like, show, like, who the newest ones, newest kids on the block are. And, like, the old mainstays who are still relevant. And then, of course, you know, have a couple cameos thrown in from, like, classic ones. Like, have, uh, like, you know, for, like, I would say if you did, uh, gaming ones and you wanted to show off, like, new gaming channels that were on the come up and everything. Like, have Vanoss, Nogla, and Terrorizer, like, sitting behind a table. Like, sitting there with, like, beers in their hands and just be like... They just keep getting younger and younger, man, I tell you. <laughs> just like sipping a beer or something like that. And just... And, 
I would love to see something like that because honestly, to celebrate as a community on you, I know that here's the thing: we're a reaction channel. There are a lot of people out there who see reaction channels as cancer incarnate, and you know what? You have the right to think that. But at the same time, I I'm not trying to do anything malicious. I'm just here to have fun. That's it. And I enjoyed the re the rewinds that highlighted that highlighted the best parts of YouTube. That highlighted what YouTube was truly all about. Now I watch this, I watch what was at the end of it, and I just said to myself, like, what like what could have been? What could have been a continuing trend if YouTube would have just kept it about the creators? That's it. All it needs to really be said. <sighs> but anyway. Jane says he misses YouTube rewinds. I think he's got nostalgic nostalgia goggles on, but at the same time, I wouldn't mind YouTube rewinds coming back if they were worth it. But we'll see how that goes, I guess. For me personally, the YouTube rewind has always been kind of outside of my, like, what I would personally hope to see on it, because I just, I don't know. I think I just watch weird stuff on YouTube that not everybody else is into a lot. That's fine. That's fine. And you know what? They could do that. They could highlight, like, the horror or, like, odd stuff or, like, the scary short films or stuff like that. Or literally essays on video games. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, that's another one, too. I've watched a lot of in the past two years. That's another one, too. It's like, I want to see a segment with, like, freaking uh, Daryl Talks Games and, like... Um, uh, shoot, I'm forgetting all their names right now at the top of my head. Huh. Um, I don't know. Super dude, and I was gonna say you're on your own with this one, dog. I, I'm out of the loop on video game essay stuff. Damn it! I know his name, and I can't. It's on the tip of my tongue. He's got like a Hollow Knight thing for his avatar. <sighs> Sorry, he yeah. has his wife try video games because she doesn't really play video games. Rasputin. Oh. Rasputin, okay. Yeah, like people like that. Like, well. I want to see like a segment for all of them because their stuff is awesome. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Well. Uh. I want to see like a, a D&D community like Rewind too because like D&D is blown up in the past several years. Like the D&D YouTube community is a good part of YouTube as well. Yeah. Actually, you know what? That could be a thing where it's just like separate videos for each separate for each separate like community. Mm -hmm. Like get the D and like okay. For instance, I, I actually he's retired now, but Joe Cat. I'd love to have seen something from Joe Cat where he basically does a collaborative effort kind of thing mm -hmm. with uh, with like YouTubers Alongside, like the DM layer, Jenny D, like XP to level three. Yeah. Do stuff like that, and not only, and just, and just like celebrate the D and D community and how much it's grown. And here's the, the thing. Dudes. Ah, there you go. So, all right. Anywho, we are going to be moving on from here. This was the odd ones out with. I miss YouTube rewinds. Somebody has to. But anyway, till next time, everyone. Signing off. I'm Nate. Hey, I'm Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.